Hello and welcome to the media drive of the Hyundai Stargazer X and currently we came all the way from Makati City and we are headed to the first stop, the pottery making session in Pampanga followed by the mansion in somewhere in Clark. We're gonna be spending the night over there, we're gonna have probably some barbecues, we're gonna have some sort of a bonfire while stargazing. Now, do take note that we are inside the Hyundai Stargazer X, which is slightly different from the regular Stargazer. As to what the differences are, well, I'll show you that in a while. So part of the Stargazer X has increased the ground clearance. We're gonna wade through a tiny, tiny puddle. So we're here at the first stop now, but apparently we're not going to be making the pot, we're just going to be painting the pot. So they gave us this kit right here and it came with this uh, glass of water. At first I thought you're supposed to drink that, I mean like it's a, a refreshment, right? But no, that's actually for the painting. So we have these uh, paint things over here, I'm not sure if they're watercolor or what, but we're supposed to paint this uh, entire white already made pot. And so, wish me luck, I'm not very artistic. This is what I ended up with. It's just black and yellow, solid piece of black and yellow, representing the Kyleon Cars logo, right? Black and yellow. And inside, I decided to go the extra mile and paint it too by blending in all of the different colors we have with this entire color palette that we have. So yeah, enjoy my work of art. With that art session out of the way, let's now head on over to something a little bit more my cup of tea. We're going to be heading on over to the mansion in Clark for some rest and relaxation and some Korean themed activities. So we're going to be having some Korean barbecue, we're going to have some drinks, which of course includes some soju and beer, mekju that is. And we're also going to be spending a little bit more time relaxing with the Hyundai Stargazer X. <laughs> So after that very nice excursion to Clark and we had K barbecue, we were supposed to stargaze, but unfortunately due to probably air pollution, we weren't able to see any stars. I only saw like one. But anyway, now we get to drive the Hyundai Stargazer X back to Manila. And first of all, I want to say that it feels pretty damn similar to a regular Stargazer and that's not really surprising because it has the same powertrain, it has the same chassis, but that also means that it has very responsive power, it has a very responsive transmission to the IVT that they use in this. It may just be a CVT but it's tuned incredibly well. It's honestly one of my favorite CVTs in the market. And also the Stargazer X is really the perfect size for taking it for adventures because we went up to this uh, very quaint restaurant restaurant and the we're roads here weren't exactly the widest yet the Stargazer X just breezes through these tight streets and once we are on the highway it also pulls really well it's also pretty comfortable so yeah Stargazer X it should be your next adventure companion and before we end this video we gotta go back to what I said earlier so as promised, I'm going to show you the couple of differences between the Stargazer X and the regular Stargazer. In this case, we have the top of the line premium, Stargazer premium. Now, first off, over here at the front, look at the hood. This is very rare for these like minor changes, but Hyundai actually took the time and the effort to modify the hood of the Stargazer X. You get some of these extra creases right here for extra robustness when it comes to the looks. The light bar, of course, that is still the same, but your bumper assembly as well as your grill, that's completely different. It looks a lot more rugged now. Your lights, well, they're the same too. The rims are also slightly different, or no, honestly, pretty different. They look a lot better compared to the ones you'll find even in top of the line Stargazer Premium. Also, to add extra ruggedness, you have these fender flares. Yes, those are only aesthetics. They don't really add that much when it comes to performance, that is. And down below too, you also get extra molding. Oh, one more thing. Look up top and you get a roof rack. 
aesthetics too? Yeah, maybe. Before I talk about the rear, one last change they did on the side or for the car in general is they've increased your ground clearance by a little bit. But I'm only talking about a couple of millimeters. But still, extra ground clearance is always a welcome addition. Anyway, now here at the back, you have this new badging, so it says Stargazer X. You have a slightly longer spoiler on the top, and your bumper is also different. Inside changes also seem minimal, but if you look a little bit closer, this center stack where you're gonna have your infotainment borders, well, that's now in piano black, making it look a lot more premium. Also, here by the middle, you get an electronic parking brake with auto hold instead of a conventional handbrake. Finally, if you look at your seats as well as the side panel right here on the doors, you now get red stitching instead of, well, not having red stitching. But the resident here is still pretty much identical, including your semi-digital instrument cluster, your center screen that's pretty big with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as your buttons on your steering wheel for your advanced driver assistance systems. Although just like the regular Stargazer, this still doesn't get adaptive cruise control, but at least you do get the other functions.